again, guys. I'm getting stuff all cleaned up here real fast. Before I go about telling this story. Because this story has been made and started years and years ago. As I had done it back in Fallout 3, my character doesn't follow the storyline of or timeline of the Fallout franchise. Because if we did, it would start off at Vault 101 being my oldest. And today, be his youngest age. But it's not. I follow a different timeline of Vault 101 from the time from Vault 3 the Vault doors open till now at his age. He moves forward. We don't go backwards. So. This starts the story. Let's start off from back in the story where it started. Jackson and Jason. The way I did this is Jackson left the vault early and never was allowed to return. Jason left the vault and when Jackson came out, his, as y'all have known, the father. You know, nobody really knows his name or anything. Too, too well. And if you do, you know, drop down in the comments, whatever. But the father of your character in the fall three is the father of both of these. The only problem is whenever he leaves the vault, he comes, well, to Jackson. Jackson is done left the vault a little later, and you don't see him there in the Jason storyline. You'll never see the brothers together. And that's because, well, Jackson's chasing after his brother Jason, and has been since Jason decided to leave the vault. Jackson was forced out of the vault, while Jason had more or less left the vault, chasing after his father. The only problem is, is his father didn't go too far until after he realized his son had escaped. After finding out that his son's escaped, he hasn't bothered to even try to go back. His father hasn't, well, not his father's escape, but his brother's escape. His father didn't even try. Hey, a bitch. Bitch. hey, a hey fellow camper, camper. Gather, gather around. around. Do you fancy, you fancy yourself, yourself a cook? cook? Making some of those recipes could help you live another day. I like, to, I like share to share some, some cooking, cooking secrets, secrets with those I meet. Here, Here, take this take recipe. recipe. You a raider or just a survivor? Hang on. See, it is a raider. There's a whole reason for the dog food, and that's just by itself. But, I know I messed up already, but I'm gonna fix it now. Okay, as I was saying, after Jason escaped, to go find his father. His father finds out, and well, Since he escaped, he knows the rules. No one's allowed back in. 
His father had left early after being told a lie by the girl he thought he was in love with. It then turned out that, well, his father didn't leave. It was he left the vault for the time being with permission instead of trying to escape out of no reason. Now, he had left, some conflict had happened with inside the vault, and Jason had been woken up by the girl who he thought was the girl of his dreams. Jason left, and well, as soon as Jason got out, word had reached far and wide to the father. And the father it came to Jackson and I told him of his brothers escape the vault. So now we go back to where we are now as Jackson. Jackson has spent the last many, many of years looking for his brother to bring him back to the vault. The problem with that is is his brother doesn't want to go back to the vault. But of course, it's not about wants or how you like or what you like. It's sometimes about what's safe for everyone. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to remove that. But, as the story goes, Jackson has spent throughout the time finding out little things, little storylines of where his brother has been sent, where his brother's been. Like, say, for instance, I have a little setup where I do something like And usually it's like a camp, a full blown camp or whatever, that I'm trying to make for the story of. I am trying to make a camp for him of what, you know, of, could have been Jason's son. And well, of course, Jackson has his home that he's only renovated. And by renovated, I mean he's found a home of the pre war time. That is my actual camp and that I built. It, it looks like a free war. Could have been a free war home. It has made it into a suitable set to live. Ever since then, that's where he has been staying. He's been staying there because that is. But Jackson has had a lot of experience out in the apocalypse and noticing everything. Because even though he was born and raised.
inside the vault as a child, he was cast away at a young age of the age of 16. Because of being rebellious and not wanting to do as the rest was being He was told a specific job that he was on at the age of 16. And it's not the job that he studying everything to be the perfect guy. And as he studied, studied, he did. As he lived inside a vault. It was not when they he was going to be given. Ever. Well, after being given the job, he has been fully against since the start. He kind of became rebellious. When the guards had known that he had wanted to be a guard, they have thought it would put them in their place by trying to go talk to him. Maybe they would have been able to calm him down, but no. Relax as Jackson looked at them, grabbed their baton off of them, and used Jackson had threatened them and tried to After that, he was cast out to the wasteland. And of course, at a young age, Jackson had done like most people have done with the rebellious life after being cast outside of the vault. He joined the Raiders. After many years of being a Raider, he chose to leave. And of course, one doesn't just leave the Raiders. without being threatened or even possibly murdered. And he knew he wouldn't be able to just walk out freely. The consequences were gonna keep in charge. 
so. He done like all survivors have done. And ran away. As far as he could. But he hasn't been able to run just quite in. Because he couldn't run from his parents. As disappointed as he was in them, he still cared for his family. And more importantly, his younger brother. They do nothing else except for the stories that is at a Jason only has heard the stories of his brother and now had no idea. story is foretold that as Jackson has been chasing his brother, his brother has no idea that there is someone that's following him, not for the bad, but for the other better, to protect him and give him a chance at getting back into the vault. Why he himself knows that there is no chance. There is a chance for his brother. And that maybe he has learned that the wasteland is not all that great. And that the vault job that he was offered wasn't all that bad either. On that, well, as of many stories have been told, Jackson has gotten old. 
been years and years have passed. After looking for his brother for many years. It's getting to the point where all he wishes was to find his brother. So at least... He'd even have a chance. To meet him before he dies. Now, as it may seem, he may never get the chance. But at the same time, who's to say he won't? But, Jackson Smith, older brother of Jason Smith, is roughly about 30 to 40 years old by now. gotten older and wiser and smarter about things. Once upon his time, his preferred weapon was a assault rifle. And a bat. Now, he carries a bow and whatever weapon that doesn't go dull before it's ever used up. And even then, he still keeps his bat around. The bat has been with him the long. It's been there for many, many of years that he has been fighting. has had the bat since the beginning of being sentenced out. The only thing he's had since he was outcasted. His father had knocked the bat out as he had slept at the entrance. of the vault, waiting and hoping that they would let him back in, because he knew nothing about the ride. After his father was caught handing him food outside the vault. after being caught <laughs> he 
was permanently banned from even entering the cave. Because they were not going to waste the valuable resources to find such a waste of space. As they had told. Yellow? What's up? Sorry for that guys, I had a, one of my few neighbors come by, ask a question, and I had to fulfill the answer. What's even all I could not fulfill that answer, because I do not know anything about that. But, as the story continues... And it's, well, Jackson is now, like I said, 30, 40 years old, going about doing his business. 
looking and hoping to find his brother. The amount of knowledge that he has obtained over the years is like any other. I feel like as I've made my character throughout the years and how he has become, he has become his own weapon. Oh shit. Okay then. Oh, I need to go fix this weapon. Jackson's story is one of my favorites, personally, because he's so well introverted and, well, not just intuitively, but he's willing to... Find ways to push and motivate and fight forward to being a better soldier. And at the same time, <coughs> to find his own brother who has been missing for but he's only had hints and clues and bits and pieces of From Vault 101, he has fought to get every cap he could to eventually move forward to New Vegas. So from the capital and helping out the Brotherhood of Steel, he has moved to New Vegas. And as in New Vegas, he went there following his brother who had moved there to try and play it big. Instead, that story for Jason has become where he had went enslaved and eventually ran off to, well, Boston, which I will get to soon. But, of course, Jackson did see Jason in the New Vegas storyline, just not up close. Instead, it was at a distance. Not this, fix that. Fix that. Oh, it never seems to end. <laughs> Didn't you hear? Here? People are saying there's gold everywhere. I think they're not getting what they're talking about. But. Sorry, my dog. But, as he had seen him, he had tried to save up the caps working as a courier. to eventually pay for his brother's freedom. And as of one big job opportunity that was offered to him, it instead 
almost got him killed. <laughs> And landed him on death row. She came close. To his cut right then and there. Which is the start of Fallout New Vegas. For many of you. This place for him, has a lot of potential. How you doing, How you doing tonight? tonight? And we got a we got calm, calm, clear, clear night. night. Perfect, Perfect for watching, watching stars. stars. Yeah. Join the club. What's one, one more sleepless, sleepless night, night after all? I haven't, I haven't hit, hit rock, rock bottom, bottom yet. yet. Just you, you wait. wait. I'm gonna interrupt that. I'm gonna interrupt that there, there, Mo. But continuing on with the story. By the time Jackson has woken up. It was far too late. Jason had already escaped. Or so he thought. Jason never lost the collar and checked in the great door. After hearing of an escape of a a slight. He had only hoped. And it wasn't his own brother. But yet, after hearing the description, his fear for the worst had only hit him. Harder, making him become more. than he has ever been before. I I should should ride ride. Ride. Fearing his brother was finally met his mark. around thinking that his brother was forever dead. He had earned up the money to hopefully he had settled down. And then rumor had gotten around that someone had disabled a collar for an escaping slip. After hearing upon this, Jackson started to do his research, try and find out what slave that had done, gotten this has had it, the description of all the pieces that he had found and put together has put him back in the hope of his brother's life. And just before he had left, 
to Vegas and finding out about the Brotherhood again. They had offered him a chance to move forward. A chance to see what better progress could lead to. And of course the Brotherhood had gained with even more hope of his brother surviving. They came with a letter written by none other than Jason himself. A letter so well described that only it could have been his brother's story. The Brotherhood agreed to tag him along as long as they had gotten a favor out of him, as well as a hefty fine. Of fifty thousand pounds. A price so steep that even Jackson could not even say no. He agreed to the fine. After saving up to pay the price that was so happy and so expensive, he had finally made enough. Just can't shift his nightmares. Floating in space forever. Going along the travels, and making the distance that he had lost all the way back up. To continue. Followed in his brother's footsteps. As he has made this travel, he has discovered the training and learn how and knowledge of the brother. Last even longer in the states of the world's redemption. And destruction. Making him not only the skilled knowledge of the vault walkers and the raiders, but as well as the brother. After earning the 50,000 pounds and taking the ride, he had bought a few things of gear to go along with him, costing the last of his caps for him to be ready. the biggest move of his life.
by leaving all that is behind in the capital and New Vegas. Be it settled to move forward, meeting great new friends in Boston. As it is foretold, as he stayed in Boston, he had joined a group known as the Minutemen. And became the general of the Minutemen. Now, not only has he became the general of Chloe, just the that? Minutemen, or maybe a nurse. I'm not sure. If you're here, here to sign up, just as you use one of our handy, but handy it also became. A stronger person by gaining the trust of new friends. While you're, you're here, here, why not, why not grab, grab a, a stem in back for two? two? Sometimes I wish they'd shut up so I could do what I'm doing. And as he had joined, he had left the Brotherhood and made agreements with, with the Minutemen. And a little lot you'll do just Give me like two seconds to get the there. Push of selling. Mm -hmm. Won't even take that. Just sell what I need to sell. It is sure is great, great to see living human beings again. again. Just about done with it as it is. And then we will continue on it. It's, just, it's hard to speak over. A robot that wants to speak over you. That overseer lady said that more people, people would, would be coming. coming. It is nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay, there. has gone, he has moved, and found a place for the Minutemen to call home at the start, known as Sanctuary Something that would have to do and make work for the home so you can figure out anything else. Automated warning to all responders. Mr. Phone Games are out of control. Uh. Evacuate civilians and take down their supervisors. Once they're dead, we'll turn out to make the server. Again. Okay. Since they love interrupting me, I try to continue it. There will be a part two to the story, don't worry. We are almost done, so we're beating the catch up. Part two being Jason's. But, 
after moving to Boston, they had taught him the skill and knowledge of how to build a home and make with whatever he had work. To be able to build a structure and anything else that was needed. It has benefited him so much to be able to help the Minutemen save more people. After realizing that they're not always as bad, just your people that are either raiding or scavenging. Hey, I, I, I can already tell. tell. It's gonna be I'm clearly. No one likes to stay cooped up all day, but when the weather. Went... And I'm building so many structures for the Minutemen. He had also discovered that there are people. That are just trying to survive. And that are willing to make a better future. In discovering this, it has given him even more hope. And more joy in life that even if he didn't find his brother, that maybe his brother had found him inside his heart. He had stayed there. many people's hopes and spirits. A slight rumor had broken out of someone so great detailed and well described that it led him to back his memories. Of his brother. After going back to finding that he had left a few things with the Brotherhood, he had asked for his bag.
that he can go through them one last and he does and as he goes through them something so amazing that it only shocked him as much as it did the day he took it he looked into the picture that he had taken from a distance of his brother. But the camera that he has been carrying and has left behind with the brotherhood. A picture that only he would understand. The image had broke his heart and brought him into tears. For at last he had realized he had forgotten all about his brother. And the promise to his father that he would find him and bring him home. Oh and after a long bit of time of whining and Hating himself, he then realizes that he has to go and find his brother yet again. And after all of it he started to put together thanks, thanks again. again oh all right, all right. well nope. But after putting all the pieces that he needed together, he put the final piece that his brothers led and was now to the Appalachian. But of course, he knew his brother would have left the Appalachians by the time he had gotten there. So, he did what he could. Knowing that even by the time he got there, his brother would be far gone. So, he had put himself together a bag. His first supplement of supplies. And, of course, modified his back. Now leaving at the age of 36. Heading the only place 
that allowed for the little bit of hope of his brother's life. He hiked and traveled through many different territories. Hoping to find some details. Now, now trading for supplies, supplies and ammunition and gear. And possibly even hope of his brother's life. Resupply here, here, citizen. Now, after getting there, all the supplies and everything he has needed, he has traveled, taking whatever fits in knowledge that he needs to learn. Now, now available. available. You are very rude. The bits and pieces. Any information that he can collect, putting them together. Yes. Sorry, but fuck you guys for a minute. And by that I mean the that guy back there. plans And what's funny here is if you look in the background, you can see the little mice following. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. do not snap. Don't want to carry any stuff, stuff myself. myself. This is for this. This is for this. Uh, I had 5,000 at the start of the day and it's already gone. Sorry, I'm not listening to them constantly. But all the supplies that he's gathered did not 
her um, for the Appalachian Mountains. And hills. Everything else that would wait for him. For he has fought many different creatures. For his most feared one that has gotten the only damage on him. Besides mankind is the Deathclaw Queen. And from here, the age of nearly 40. Jackson has made it to the Appalachia. And has made work out of whatever he can find call home. So anytime that you will see me playing this character, and I will show you some like this super cool face and age that he has became. Just know that this is Jack. For the choice of clothing that we have gone with, Jackson has currently gotten So, he now wears glasses at time to time to read and see at certain times. His choice of clothing for most of the time is this, as it states, the black rim glasses, the backpack is of course of designed in a different style, a grey nightcap as you have seen on my head, the mountain scout uniform with the collapse under arm. And of course. And the Appalachia. Jackson. His met his told me. Uh, his soulmate. You may never see. But he is very grateful. Of the woman that he has found. And being able to love. And this is only still the beginning of Jackson's story. Till next time for part two. I hope you have all grown to enjoy just the beginning of Jack.